done was we created a data table inside of the Power App to be able to view our data in SharePoint just like an Excel list. But the problem here is if we click play, you actually can't edit any of these data types. So what we're gonna have to use instead is a gallery. So we're gonna go up here, open the gallery, make a blank gallery, drag it to the same proportions. And then we're gonna go ahead and start our data source. So we're gonna do these cookie customers. And we're gonna add the same data types as you see up here as labels, except for the band. I wanna be able to change the band. So let's add that. So we got text label. You can just keep clicking in here. Add them all in there. Once you get the most of them. So you got zip code, city, their phone number. We'll put their name up here their address, and the country. And one thing I left out was the band. So right now these are all just, you know, uneditable, just like there were data tables, but you can actually, if we click in here, we can add a text input. Now look how I actually clicked in the gallery before touching the text input box. If I do the opposite and click out of there, it's just gonna pop up here. So we don't want that. We want it in the gallery. So I always click into the gallery and then I click text input. So we're gonna drag it in here. I'm gonna resize it. Next thing I would like to do is just clean it up by making some borders for all these. Let's make it look a little more like Excel. Let's just pop up some border and I'll put one in there. And the final thing I like to do is always align them. So let's distribute horizontally. So now they kind of match up nice. And we can drag this bottom one up so you can kind of see all the data in one spot. So now it's kind of starting to look like Excel. But this you can actually input. But we got to add the data in there. So right now you notice how these have this item to address. You're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to go to text. Well, in this case, we're gonna to go to default. These text inputs have tech, have defaults while these actually just have text. So we're gonna say the same thing here. We're gonna say, this is my favorite band. You notice also how it has um, quotes around it. That's because there's a space in the middle. So always need quotes if you have space. Oh, and there it goes, it populated at all. But the problem here is if I wanna change this to like journey one, two, three, it's not actually changing the data type. So we need to add one more step to make sure it populates back in our SharePoint list. So we're gonna click on it and we're gonna go down to on change. So we're just gonna write a simple formula here. So I've actually a patch. You can see what it does. It says the data source to be patched. Basically it's updating the data source. And what, we're gonna start with source, record, and then update. So we're gonna do cookie customers. And then we're going to do comma. What are we going to update? Uh, we're going to say it's this item because this is what we're clicked on. And then you're going to do a comma. And you're going to do brackets here. And you're actually going to say, what's the favorite band? So that's what you're updating. So what's that data type? You can scroll down with favorite band. So I could just add it there so we delete that. And then you're going to say what the actual label is. So the label is called a text input nine. So we're going to say that text input nine. And then we're going to make sure it sends back as text. So we just have to end it with dot text. And then we'll close all the brackets and the parentheses and we should be good. Now if you see if you click play and we change this back to I don't know, journey 999 as my favorite band. You notice how the dots appear and it started to actually change it. So now in the filter and in the data fields, journey 999 is a new one. It's a new field and it's updated in the data source automatically. So this is all now live edits. You'll easily change. So if you wanna change this to, you know, Taylor Swift for Adele. Now there's two Taylor Swifts here and here, both show.
And that's how you update live data in an Excel view in Power Apps.